Hey everybody, this is Amber Perry with the Perry team here at the Property Group. And this month we are here with our partner Spotlight and it is Terry with Number One Home Inspector. So thank you for coming on. Thank you for asking us yeah. to be here. So tell us a little bit about your company and what you do. Okay. Uh, we're in a uh, customer service business. So we just happen to do home inspections. Mm -hmm. And the name of our company, like you said, was is Number One Home Inspectors. Uh, we've been in business now 10 years, my wife and I, Leanne, uh, been doing home inspections, trying to help clients mm -hmm. understand what they're, what they're purchasing and the condition of what they're buying. Okay. And so when you do the home inspections, is there a, what's the most common problem that you might see where maybe from a seller standpoint of home maintenance or... Um, Generally, there's about three things that we okay. see see during the process, and, and it almost shows up just almost in just about every inspection report. Mm -hmm. And that, that's roof maintenance issues. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the roof is very old. Then you'll have some some issues that needs needs addressed. Okay. Um, plumbing. Sometimes there's plumbing leaks that, mm -hmm. that the homeowners may not be aware of, and then electrical issues. And, okay. and generally, like the electrical, you may have a GFCIs that are missing. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have receptacles that are wired backwards, called hot neutral reverse. Sometimes, you know, in the electrical panel, there's also uh, sometimes there's some issues with the with the way it's wired. And those are all things that you just don't see. I mean, plumbing and electrical is all. Right. behind the walls for the most part and so right and and that, those are things a lot of times you know the homeowner's not going to get on their roof mm -hmm. to look at the condition of it you know uh, they're not going to open up their electrical panels all the time to see mm -hmm. really see what kind of condition it, it you know it is in uh, as long as the house is functioning for them they're mm -hmm. they, they're a lot of times they're just not aware of what, yeah. what's, what yeah. we find on the inspections okay so what's the biggest thing that you think people don't think about when getting a home inspection to me, I think the biggest thing is grade. You know, uh, a lot of times, especially in central Arkansas, you have a lot of hills and stuff, and valleys mm -hmm. and houses, and 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 the grade of the of uh, the land, the the landscaping stuff, a lot of times will flow toward the house. Okay. And so, so it's about managing that water. Sometimes you can't prevent water from going downhill. I mean, yeah, that's, just, it's, that's, that's how it's going to flow. <laughs> that's that's the natural process of, yeah. of rain and water. But uh, you also want to be able to manage that to make sure that that water is going around the house, not coming to the house, especially if it has a crawl space. Okay. You, you don't want that water to come in and stand in that crawl space. Okay. So there's obviously a ton of home inspectors. How would you say you are different from the other home inspectors? Well, um, there's a few things we do a little different than a lot, lot of them. We uh, actually print our report on site, the summary. Mm -hmm. That's Go, really helpful, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so. We, we just think it just uh, adds to that great customer service that we mm -hmm. our goal is to do for our clients. But by printing on site, we can go over that report with them there. A lot of times when you're reading this inspectorly speak words on paper, it just overwhelms you. Mm -hmm. But if I can walk them through that report in front of them face to face, and if I see that deer to headlight look <laughs> with a the customer, mm -hmm. then, then I can back up and try to explain it maybe a different way mm -hmm. to calm those fears down. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, to me, it just helps them to better understand their home and not be so overwhelmed, you know? Yeah, yeah. there was, um, you know, if you know us from the Perry team, we um, are very, hold our clients' recommendations and reviews on people that we work with. Um, we hold those close to us. And there's three things that clients, um, we've gotten feedback. Sometimes they've got a friend that's a home inspector or something else, and we've gotten reviews from things they like and things they don't like and those three things are one they always want to know how thorough the home inspector is and um, second is how they explain um, the items at the end of the inspection when they go over them is it like you said is it way over their head and they don't understand what you're talking about have the deer in the headlights look um, or third just when you get the report because you'll go over everything but then they're going to get sent and printed the you know 40 plus page report and so I even tell them and I know you do just don't get overwhelmed by that call if you if they always have questions um, but the report is easy to, to read and those three things they've got marked off um, we've never had a client say man I just didn't understand what Terry was saying they always understand they understand the report and that makes our job a little bit easier as well because um, I'm not a home inspector I'm not an electrician or any of those things right. so they understand what they're reading and that makes 
it also helps make that home buying process a little bit easier. And a lot of times I'll tell our clients that, um, you know, if you have any questions, like you said, if you have any questions or anything, they can call me at mm -hmm. nighttime on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And of course, they look at me like, well, I'm not going to bother you there, you mm -hmm. know. But, 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 you know, like, like the clients, that they're working. Mm -hmm. You know, they're busy working. Sometimes it's hard to take care of that personal, yeah. you know, the personal questions or, you know, your personal issues or whatever. Yeah. Personal business. Yeah during the day because you're having you have a job you have yeah. to do too family and all family that family yeah. and all that kind of stuff and so it's it's not a problem for me mm -hmm. matter of fact that's part of our customer service mm -hmm. that we focus on is that we want them to feel comfortable and free to be mm -hmm. able to call me in the evenings, call me on the weekends. I've had people call me six months later. Yeah. I had a lady call me yesterday. Mm -hmm. And it's six months after the inspection and she mm -hmm. had a few questions. Yeah. And, and and we pulled up the report, remembered the report, and, yeah. and talked to her through those those uh, questions she had. Mm -hmm. and, and it just helps them. Uh, yeah. Uh, even th even at past the inspection right. date. Right. Well, besides printing on site, um, we... Uh, we offer a lot of services too mm -hmm. that some home inspectors don't do. You know, it sounds kind of creepy, but we offer like bed bug test. <laughs> you know, meth Hoping test. We never do that. I know, yeah. I know. We've actually done a few of those. Uh -huh. They all came back negative, thank goodness. But, but, um, but we offer like um, meth tests. Uh -huh. If so someone's concerned that the house they're purchasing okay. might might have had meth smoked or cooked there, mm -hmm. um, we offer mold air mm -hmm. quality tests. If they're out in a, out in the county someplace and want water quality tests, mm -hmm. we can do that too. So there's a lot of radon. You know, we okay. don't we really don't have um, much uh, radon in this area, but some right. people are concerned about that, yeah. and so uh, you know we're we're willing to test for it if that's what the client want. We don't try to push any of those mm -hmm. things on. We just but want their services. Their services yeah. that are available to clients that if they need that. Yeah. We had a client, I think a couple times or a few clients, ask about the, the allergen test. You know, if you've got really bad allergies or, Absolutely. you know, carpets when they've had pets in the house or anything like that, he can test that air quality and um, that can help a lot of people out that might have, you know, stronger allergy issues. So. Right, those health health and breathing issues and those health concerns, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so what questions would you give, or not what questions, what suggestions, sorry. <laughs> He's going to ask the questions now. Um, what suggestions would you give to maybe future clients, future home buyers thinking about getting a home inspection, or maybe even sellers getting ready to put their house on the market? I, I would just suggest that they get a home inspection. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, whether it's us or someone else. You know, of course we prefer it to be us, but you know, <laughs> uh, but you know, we definitely recommend a home inspection. Uh, to me, I think the the biggest uh, uh, thing about with brand new houses is uh -huh. people think that they don't need a home inspection because yeah. it's a brand new house. Mm -hmm. But brand new houses doesn't mean that the brand new house is perfect. Yeah. I'll give you a couple of examples. We did a we did a brand new house and one of the rafters had already cracked mm -hmm. in the attic, you know. That's not something the home owner or buyer is going to be up there looking for, right. you know. So it's a structural issue yeah. that is already uh, noticeable on a mm -hmm. brand new house. We did a brand new house to where we filled up the jetted tub, tested it, everything's fine, let the water out. Mm -hmm. um, and so we do infrared scanning. So we came back, scanned that bathroom, everything looked fine. We scanned the uh, master closet in the carpet area. There's a big summer circle of, we didn't see it with our eyes, but we could see it with the infrared camera. Mm -hmm. And so we moisture tested that and it was wet. Okay. The only way we found that was with with that infrared. So again, infrareding is another yeah. thing that sets us apart too, because we infrared for uh, the electrical yeah. panel for hot spots. We infrared in wet areas inside mm -hmm. the home for moisture issues. The hottest electrical panel we found is 300 and something degrees. Oh, wow. That and, can't be good. It's not. <laughs> Anything 150 degrees or hotter is a fire safety concern. Okay. And we've done inspections for clients that we're so thankful that we offered infrared because yeah. their house actually burnt from electrical fire. And so, we're, so that was a high concern for them. Absolutely. Yeah. And okay. you know, we're not trying to scare people with that. It's just right. modern technology we use. It's not infrared scanning is not modern technology, but it's new to the home inspection business. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming and thank answering you. a bunch Appreciate of questions. It. Terry with no, and Leanne. Leanne. Can't her. Yeah, she, the from, boss. Yeah the boss uh, from number one home inspectors and so we'll have all of their information in the video and thanks for coming out thank you so much good to be here